Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. I am going to do another flip, flip cup. So I'm sticking with my simple colours and not going to go crazy and put too many colours in. So I've made it super basic. I'm using my global um, light green. I don't know if it's an opaque or transparent because it's an old global and it doesn't say. And I'm using Eraldo di Polo Deep Sea, which is this beautiful green. And I'm using white. So that's it. Two colours, one white. I mean, two white. Oh, I've got two cups of white. So all of them have 60 grams paint, 60 grams pouring medium, which is Elmer's Clear Glue 70%, water 30%. So in total, I've got one, two, three, four hundred and eighty grams of paint. And that is all. Nothing over the top. Nothing too crazy, just four cups of paint. So I... Have to find cups. Hmm. I'm going to use these, but I'm a little bit concerned I might have too much paint. I might have to go three. So, three cups I'm going to use. I have put three drops of, of Helmar silicon oil in each cup, except one white, an extra drop fell out. So, uh, it's not the end of the world, um, just what happens. So, we will begin. It's just a matter of pouring some in. I might see if I can try and get three layers, if I can. So, I'll just put a bit in each. And I'm trying to layer them so the colours are on top of each other. The paints do feel a little bit thick. It's probably not going to make a huge difference apart from my cells may end up just being smaller. But I don't mind. I didn't want to adjust it again. So I find with this Araldo de Polo paint, you mix it to a good consistency, but then when you let it settle a little bit, um, it thickens up a bit. So I could have added um, a bit of water to them, but I didn't really want to. I thought I'm just gonna go with how they are. If my cells are a little bit small, that's fine. Sometimes I don't want too many crazy cells anyway. And it does teach me because I don't use these green I've I don't think I'd even opened deep sea and the light green. I I don't remember when I last used it. Greens can be a challenging colour to work with I find. For me anyway. I don't often use them in mixed colours, because green takes over. It's just one of those colours that is a little bit of a bully. But there's a few colours that do that. So you can fast forward through this part if you don't want to see me pouring in paint into cups. I just like to show everyone the full process. Plus, I don't know how to edit. I haven't looked into editing because I don't really have time. Um, I have a full-time job. I also study. So, and I do painting. So, I don't really have time to sit there and edit a lot of my videos. So, what you see is what you get. 
which is kind of a bit the way I, I live my life. Like I've got so much to do. I'm single, so I've got to run a whole household by myself. Got pets to worry about, so it's easier just to record a video as is and people can always fast forward. I often, when I watch my own videos, I don't really fast forward very much. Um, when, I, when I watch other people's videos, I usually watch the whole thing. I just pick my timing. If I know I haven't got half an hour to watch a video, I will watch a short video. If I have time to kick back and watch a half an hour video, then I just watch it. And it also depends whose video, whom, who's making the video. Some people are a little bit more entertaining, or I find they re I can relate to them better. It's like most things in life, we gravitate to what we find interesting. So yeah, green, this green shouldn't be so troublesome because I'm using uh, an only green and white flip cup. If I was using other colours, I would go a little bit easy on the green because I know it's a little bit challenging. But I've been doing these simple colour ones lately and I really actually enjoyed them. I find they... It can, uh, it can often be a lot easier to place a simple colour scheme than a multicoloured one. And I will do multicoloured ones again. I'm just going through a simple stage. And you'll find that when you do pouring and all that, you kind of go through little stages, what you are enjoying more at the time. These simple ones are, not, it's not so much a simple pour, it's just a simple colour scheme. But it should work out really nice. These greens will um, adjust with the white to give me a whole range of shades. And that's the fun part of it. It's because this, this deep sea is beautiful. I wouldn't say I love the light green. It's a green. Um, but the deep sea one's really nice. But I'm hoping that mixing it with all these three colours together, I'll get a really nice colour scheme going on. So the, this will probably end up going in one of my bathrooms. Because my bathroom is relatively white. Um, but I have, being a horticulturalist, I've got, <clears throat> pardon me, indoor plants in there so it's kind of a white and green theme as such so that's that glove time get them on make sure that I'm recording yes I am So the only thing I've got to be careful of this time is my crazy blow torch, which is still on full bore, it hasn't settled down yet. So.
Yeah, so once the blowtorch um, gets rid of its peak gas, then it gets a bit more settled. But at the moment, it's still full, so it gives me a real heavy blast. So we're just going to leave them for another 20 seconds. So I do hope everyone's been enjoying my videos. Um, I did those cool swipes again last night. I did it on an MDF board. That's quite cool. It's still drying, so I can't actually show you that. Um, so are my other two flip cups, the grey one and the red one. They're both still drying. I don't think I have taken... No. I don't want to move them just in case, because they're drying, um, I'd rather keep them where they are. So, let's get started. Mm, that's an unusual colour. Kind of a cool colour, really. So again, this is going to be thick. So, coming out the cup sometimes is a little bit of a challenge. So by putting this on the edge, if you've watched my videos before, you realize I always pour this part off. It just helps cover the edges for now. And it just means you pour off less of your, your good artwork. Um, but yeah, it's always something I find is best to do. But don't put it in the middle. Otherwise, you're going to get funny patterns in your flip cup. So by just putting it on the edge like this, you pour it off and it kind of all goes away. There is a lot of paint left in these cups too. That's done. So again, I'm going to pour. I'm going to um, torch last. But first of all, I am going to go towards me and get this down towards the bottom. So because I do a three flip cup, I do what I, I was taught to do is to go back and forth. So your two lines where the cups join stay kind of in their place. Otherwise they can kind of end up all over the place. So I'm going to go off this side here now. Over the corner. Beautiful. Bring it back a bit. And come over this way. Over this side and corner. Okay, now bring it back. I want to keep those lines relatively where they are. I don't mind if there's a little bit of movement in them. But I don't want them all over the place. So I'm just going kind of slow and steady. I think I'm going to have to go over this corner now. Over. Yep, it's really slow moving. I'm going to bring it back to the middle a little bit. So this is where I've kind of... My lines are a little bit askew. But that's okay. Now I've got to get this corner off where I put the extra paint. So that's it. 
Now I'll bring the paint back down towards the middle and before I torch I'm going to pour off this big blob at the bottom. I don't like it. So I'm just pouring the whole weight down. It's going, it's going, it's going and gone. Now I'll bring the paint back. So it's unusual. It looks like there's a bit of a purple tone in this. There might be how the, that deep sea is made. Okay. So that's looking good for the moment. I'm going to get my gloves off. So my honest opinion is the paint was a little bit thick, but it shouldn't really matter. Um, it was just a tad too thick. Well, yeah. So the ignition part on my blowtorch is blown, or it's stopped working, but um, I can't get a replacement at the moment because I don't have any. Probably made in a, another country where we can't get things yet, so I just have to get it going with my lighter. Okay, and there is going to be bubbles in this. I already know there was bubbles. I didn't make my paint up early enough. So I'm getting sun cells coming up, trying not to even get too close. So one thing, when the paint is a little bit thick, you will sometimes end up getting cells that are harder to come up. So you just got to be a little bit more patient. Oops. So I heated it up a little bit there in that one spot too much, so I got a cluster. And I did mix my um, silicon in very well. I like to mix my silicon in quite well. So it's hard, it's hard to get cells come up and when I get a little bit too close then I get a big cluster of them. But they are going to be small cells.
probably should invest in trying to get myself a little mini blowtorch for situations like this where I'm trying to just get a couple to pop up without getting a huge cluster of them. But I'm going to leave it as that. And this is very hot now. Don't put it next. That there is smoking hot. Don't let it touch anything. Put it in the middle of the room. I've got concrete floors over there. So it can sit on the concrete floor. If it tips over, it's not going to touch anything because you don't want to fire um, or, or anything melting. If it touches anything plastic, it will melt your paint container straight away. Okay. So this is different again. So this is giving me like little... Where the, the cells have come up in patches, they've given me like little crocodiles, crocodile scales or lizard scales. They're kind of really cute. Um, definitely don't have any big cells. Even when they've started to grow, the... Like, that one there was an original cell, which I was never going to be able to push off without getting too much off. But some of the biggest cells that I have just by torching would be these ones here. And they're still, they're still really small. But then I've got these cluster, clusters of crocodile scales. So if I wanted to, I could get really close with that blowtorch over the whole thing, like quickly, and turn the whole painting or the whole artwork into a crocodile scale... Um, painting but I, I don't want to actually do that and I don't want to <clears throat> I don't want to mess with it too much more so where I need to scrape these edges so I don't lose any more paint and so I don't adjust my cells so I'm on occasions my table or sometimes actually the canvas is not a completely flat canvas and it's pushed off one side so one side stretched out but the rest hasn't and as much as it's not completely ugly it's not exactly what I had planned so sometimes you you got to just really check on everything so I've got half of my table um, on a rug, but this side here isn't, so I've had to prop it up with little props. Um, but because it's foam, I didn't realise one day, I must have pushed down on the table and it's kind of squashed the foam a little bit. So it was a little bit um, offside for, I think I only did it for one artwork and then I realised what was happening. So you just got to check little things like that. Um, but it can also be, I've had a couple of canvases where the box must have got a little bit squashed in shipping or something because it was a little bit like you pushed on one end and it tipped like a table when it's not even. And depending on how lit, um, fluid your paints were, it can really alter things quite a lot. Oh, I got paint everywhere. So I put my new. This is just a plastic tablecloth. I got rid of the old one and put a new one, a fresh one on. And me being a little bit um, pedantic, I don't want paint on it, even though that's what it's for. It's a drop cloth for paint, but um, <laughs> I'm quirky. I know that. I have my ways so loving these deep green cells they are really cool and I've got a few over here not as much over here but they're multi-colored so I've got rings of it around other colors but I'm really really liking it it's just unusual this line down the middle looks very gray and um, I don't really know how how it's kind of turned out gray I'm going to pause it and bring you down for a closer look so you can see these cool cells. So there's the artwork. Lovely, lovely colours. But they are little cells, but um, 
you know what? Sometimes you get little cells, sometimes you get big cells. See these and look at them. Real crocodile leopard skin tones. Nice colour. Come through here and they all change different colours. Lots of little leopard ones. I mean, alligator skin or even some really light ones. That lot's gorgeous. And then this one here, you get quite different. Not so many of the lighter green ones. Look at a few of these really dark, nice ones. Right, look at that. Isn't that stunning? Down here, whole cluster of them together. More clusters of lots of cells. And they're, they're tiny, tiny little cells. They're awesome. And see how they've got all different colours, like dark rings around them, and some don't. Coming along through here. And we get some light greens and whites and ones of colours in the centre. Excellent. So, don't be afraid of the green. That's what I should tell myself because it's turned out fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like, share, subscribe, um, comment, and I don't know if I should, should share or not. Share my videos. I, I, I really enjoy doing it and I hope more people get to see them. The color on my eyes is maybe a slightly greener, lighter green than what the camera is showing up. It, this camera does not pick up exactly accurate colors for some reason i don't know if it's the lighting or the camera itself but there you go have a great day enjoy yourself and try this painting if you if you like it make your own and show me all right have a good night everyone bye